Hi everybody, it's Stacy from Quick Quotes and I am going to walk you through the December Club Q kits and I want to show you what January has in store as well. What we're going through today is the December kit, so we have Oh Holy Night and we have the Merry Christmas Elf. If you are a Club Q member, we thank you, thank you, thank you for being a member. And if you're not, this is an easy way to get Quick Quotes kits shipped to your door every single month. Um, we send, we, ha we do a video every month so that we can walk you through step by step. You get four pages, so two double page kits plus a paper pack every single month. Check it out at our website, um, shopquickquotes.com. There's also an option to skip and um, opt out on months too. So you don't have to take the ones that you don't want, but you get a ton of stuff in your first shipment because you get lots of free stuff also. So check that out. Uh, I want to show you also what we have in store for January. We have this beautiful paper line. Um, with some really fun kits. So that one is called Let Your Soul Shine. And then we have Be Bright, Be Happy, Be You. You are my sun, my moon, and all my stars. So this is a really fun, soft paper line for January. So this is what you have to look forward to next month. And I also wanted to let you know that we have our brand new 2023 inks in. We are super excited because it's very rare that we get any in before the end of the year. But we have them on our website. You can um, add them to your add-on cart if you want to, to have it shipped with your next monthly kit. Um, it is our candy collection, so we have some really fun and beautiful colors in there. Uh, we have peppermint stick, we have candy corn, taffy, um, cotton candy, lemon drop, sour apple, some really fun colors in there. So we just got a limited supply by the end of the year. So go ahead, get online, check those out, add them to your cart, get them while we have them. We also have a bundle deal. So if you want to get the new ones and the old ones all at one time, it saves you like 10 bucks. So check that out. But we're going to get started with the... Club Q kits. Oh, one more thing. We have an event coming up in January, January 28th. The kits are shipping now. You get all of our um, leftover like convention class kits that we've not done online before. Check that out. I think it's $99, but you get to make 16 pages in one day. We give out prizes. You get a thank you gift. Um, it's a really fun event and it's all live on our Facebook page. So if you go to um, shopquickquotes.com, online events, and sign up for the January event, we will ship your bundle out to you, and then you can join us live, or watch the videos later, and we will walk you through step by step. So join us. There's only maybe 20 kits left or something. We're getting down there. So if you want to join us for the January event, check that out. And we will get started with the December instruction videos. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the second uh, December Club Q kit. And this one is called Oh Holy Night. I love the colors in this one. It's a little bit unique and different from what we normally do. Um, but we are going to get out our instructions and I will walk you through step by step. Um, but it's handy to have these sitting next to you so you can see what the project finished project looks like. Uh, the inks that we suggest are Fields of Green and Coal Miner, but we also got our brand new inks in. And in that pack, I'm going to show you here, we got a limited supply of inks in. And um, our 2023 is called the Candy Collection. It comes in a pretty pink box like this. Um, lots of fun colors in there, so if you want to use some of the new colors, if you've already ordered them, um, I would suggest maybe Black Licorice. It has just a hint of dark green in there. Um, and Peppermint Stick is like a bright red. That might work. Um, you can also use some of the browns on this if you want, like Milk Chocolate, Caramel Delight. Um, anyway, 
fun new inks, 2023 inks. If you haven't gotten yours, they are on the website right now um, for the limited supply that we did get in early. Okay, so to get started, first of all, we usually say punch out all of your stuff beforehand and have it ready. When we say that, don't throw anything away because this we actually use quite a few of the negative pieces. And actually starting with our background, that is one of them. So you can see here, the background is this black and white floral paper, but one of the backgrounds is actually a hollow piece like this because some of the lasers actually come out of the center. So make sure you save the outside edge of the things that you punch out. And if you've already punched them out and tossed them away, look in your garbage and grab them because we will need them. And we are gonna work on this one um, just a single page at a time. So I'm going to move page two out. We're just gonna do page one for the moment. And I'm going to move in our, you know, actually I'm gonna do the cutting diagram first. Get that out of the way. Okay, so in your pack you have one cutting diagram. You have a red paper white on one side, and then like a beautiful kind of shiny red music note on one side. So I'm going to get out my trimmer and we will follow this cutting diagram here. And what I normally do with the cutting diagrams is I find the easiest cut to begin with. And we are going to start with a three and a quarter by 12. That's just one cut all the way down. So I'll take my 12 by 12 paper and it is going to, and I turn it sideways so the music notes are going, so if you were looking at it, the music notes look like they're going vertical, not, um, the strips here are going vertical, not uh, horizontal. So we'll turn it this way and we are going to cut three and three quarters by 12. So at three and three quarters, not quite four, we are going to cut a strip. So we have this piece out of the way. Now we're going to do the five by seven. So I'm going to turn my paper, put it in at five. And if you need to push, push pause at any point you go ahead and push pause, do your cuts and then push play again. That's what's so great about having a video is you can go at your own pace. So we're turning it sideways, cutting it at five. And it's supposed to be a five by seven. So then we turn it back the other way and we put it at seven. And trim again. This is an extra piece, so. So we have our five by seven and our strip. Now this piece that's left, we are gonna cut a four and a half by six and a half. So again, I'm gonna turn it sideways so that you're looking at these going up and we will cut it at four and a half. And then we need it six and a half long. So we turn it, put it in at six and a half and trim. And our last piece is three by three and a half. So this is, this one is a, let's see, yeah. Well actually, we'll put it in this way. Trim it at three. Hang on a second, don't, don't make that cut. I wanna make sure that this is, yeah, okay. We'll put it in this way, trim it at three. Great thing is, is you do have a leftover piece, so if you were to make a wrong cut, you have a little more to work with. And then we'll turn it again, trim it at three and a half. 
So you end up with the three by three and a half, and then all of your cutting is done. So again, we're gonna work on page one. Let's grab one of the backgrounds, and it doesn't matter which one because this square is actually going to be covered up. So the first layer is the black and white floral. The next layer is actually, I don't know if I can show you this, but the next layer is also from a die cut that you don't wanna throw away. So you can see we have this here. The large ornament came out of the center of here. Save that, pull this apart. And this is the piece that is going to go on to your back. Christmas words on it. Some Christmas fonts. That gets adhered right in the center of that. And as we go, you chalk things up as you would like. So actually, I will use, I'm gonna grab black licorice out of here just so you can kind of see what color it is. I'm so excited about these new colors because it's the candy collection. So we have like peppermint stick, uh, caramel delight, cotton candy, deep, or I'm sorry, not deep sea. <laughs> That's one that was already sitting here. Deep sea is a beautiful color. Uh, taffy, cotton candy, lemon drop, sour apple, sugar plum, lots of fun colors in there. So this one is actually black licorice and it has, it's black, but it has just a hint of like a dark green blue kind of color in it. So I think that this one would go pretty well with this kit. This kit is a real like kind of elegant Christmassy look, but this is kind of a dark blue with a little hint of green in it. And I just run it down the side. It can be messy. Put a little more on the corners just to add that little extra dimension there. I'll, I'll add a little more so you can really see what that color looks like. But you can see it's a black with just kind of a dark greenish blue in there. Okay, so that on page one is the next layer. Go ahead and tear that down. And then we have our green laser cut. So we need two of the strips here on the end. You can go ahead and punch that stuff out. Two of these strips. And it's totally up to you. Um, some people punch out all the stuff and chalk it all from the beginning. I tend to punch things out as I go, as I need them. Up to you, whatever is comfortable for you. So with these strips, they are going to go about an inch up from the red piece here, about an inch up and then about an inch down. I'm not adhering my stuff down as I go, so it's a little folded up, but um, you have a little packet of red brads and those are going to go in the corners here. So you don't have to put them, they're just decoration, so you don't have to put them all the way through the pages. You can put them just through the ends of the, um, of the little banner. If the red things show, you can always just snip those off on the back if you want to, but you only have to put them in through the green little banner. You don't have to poke it all the way through your page because it really is just kind of decoration. And then those go about an inch up and adhere that down and an inch down from here. There's brads that go in there. The next piece is your large red ornament. Now you can glue this down right in the center. Um, but I want to show you here what we did. The next piece is the green layer. 
And if you need to stop and get caught up, you go ahead and then just push play when you're ready again. Now, like I said, when you punch out your lasers, you want to save the negative pieces because we actually are going to use this rounded piece that comes out of the center. And I know that looks a little funny, but it is a piece that will be used on page two. So hang on to that. Now this one, we are actually going to, don't glue this down yet because we are going to cut our ribbon so that you can make a bow at the top. And honestly, what I did, you can either, uh, let's see what the sizes of the ribbon are that we need. Two four inch pieces and one 13 inch. So the 13 inch is what will be used on this. So you wanna cut a four inch, go ahead and measure out four inches. I'm gonna do about right now, but you can measure out four inches, four inches, and then you have 13 to make your bow. So you can, if you want to, put your ribbon through this little hole here and make your bow. But what I am going to do is glue this down and you only want to glue the outside edge because we are going to slide something in behind these trees for your photo. So only, you can glue all these layers down, just do the outside edge. And what I'm gonna do is I take this about a third of the way in, make my bow. Adjust it nice and neat there. I'm gonna fold these edges and cut right back up towards my finger. Fold these down back towards my finger and then it leaves a nice little dove's tail at the end. And then what I did is I just actually glued my bow right to here so it looks like it goes through but it's nice and neat and glued down to the top. Okay. So again make sure you don't throw this piece away that comes out of the ornament. And then your photo backer that goes inside there is, again, there's a laser here. This pops out of the center and we are going to use this piece for a photo backer. So don't throw that piece away. And you cut a, let me get the right piece here. Out of your cutting diagram, you cut a four and a half by six and a half, and you can put adhesive around the edge that goes right on to this floral photo backer that has a hole in the middle because we punched another one out. Once you get that adhered onto the top, then you can put your photo on. And then you slide this in behind trees, however it fits your photo best. And then your first page is completely done. I'm gonna move that out of the way. So the second page we're gonna bring in here so you can see what we're working on again. Um, on the second page, this is where we are going to use some of these negative pieces from your laser cuts. So have those handy. And we are going to bring in your background page. So on the first page, you use the one that had the hole in it. Second one, we are going to use the full 12 by 12. And you can see here, the first thing that we're going to actually put down is that negative piece that I just showed you. And it's going to be about a quarter of an inch, a little over a quarter of an inch from the right side of the page. And then we have green uh, tree that is going to fit right in here. 
a white tree that'll go next to it and a green tree right next to that. So go ahead and grab your laser cuts. There's your little white tree. And I'm just placing these right now so that we can pick them up and use them and glue them down once we get them in the spot that we want them. So out of your die cut, there's a large green tree. That actually tucks right into that cut out there. There is a small green tree and that one goes right next to it. And then your last little strip here is going to go on this page. And then this is just left over. So that is garbage. It's one negative that you don't have to hang on to. So you can see there's the three trees. This part you can go ahead and adhere down. So you want it about three and a half inches probably from the top. Um, your trees, I would just set aside for right now if you have all of them together. You can just put those in a pile. And then your strip of red that you um, cut out in the very beginning, that is going to go across the bottom. So about a half an inch up from the bottom. Oops, that's too far. So about a half an inch up from the bottom. And that is going to get glued right down to your page. Once you have that, we have another fun Christmassy font here. And go ahead and chop up the edges of that again and use any color you would like, any browns, black, um, black licorice, red. Uh, barn board actually looks really nice with this one too because it's kind of a reddish brown. Uh, this, once you get it uh, chopped up, you'll want to put it about three quarters of an inch from the left side of your page and about a half an inch up from the red. So you have about a half an inch here, you have about three quarters of an inch over here. And again, this is, I'm just working in about, you can do exact and measure it out if you want to, but um, it'll, it'll be totally fine if you have it just slightly off. Out of your laser, your white laser, there is a strip that's about two inches by probably about seven, two by six and a half. This is going to be for your uh, vellum strip. One thing with vellum is you it's fun to see what is actually on the other side, which, whatever color you put it on. We actually put it on white, but one fun technique is, I'm gonna move this to the side for a second. I would take a color, you can leave it totally just like we did and we'd put no color behind it, we just chalk the edges of the white paper. Or you can put a little color and make the, you can either do it, let's see if you can see that, you can either do it right onto the vellum, which takes a little longer to dry, or you can put a little color onto, I used um, peppermint stick, onto your white paper. And when you put the vellum on it, it gives it a whole different color. The red does look just a little bit pink once it goes on there, but you can always add a little darker color to it as well. I'm gonna grab chocolate malt. These are brand new, so I'm just now opening them. So I'm going to darken this up just slightly. I don't wanna darken it up too much so that you can't see the words, but I'm just gonna add a little darker color to it so it doesn't look quite as pink. This is what's great about vellum is that you can put it on whatever color you want and it brings a whole other color into it. And it shows through the vellum. So once you have that like like you like it. Um, you could even make it a little darker by adding a little black or gray behind there. Um, let's see, do I have, I might make it just slightly darker. And I just did the one word too. You can do the whole thing. Do 
few different colors. Oops. But it just kind of gives it a fun, different look. Once you have the color that you would like, the black part of the vellum you want to put right at the edges of your white paper. And we are going to wrap this around. And the glue goes on the back side so it doesn't show through your vellum. So this folds around. When you flip it over, your adhesive goes right here, and then you never see the adhesive through your vellum. So those are a couple of fun tricks with vellum. Adding color on the back side of it and then wrapping it around something so that your adhesive doesn't show. Okay, and then that gets glued down. And actually, you might want to place your trees. I would place our trees before we actually adhere this down. Uh, one thing that can be glued down is your other green strip. And again, remember, your brads go right in the end of that. They don't have to go through all the pages. Just in the end, and then it can lay on top of this. And it goes about half an inch up, quarter, a little over a quarter of an inch up. And adhere down. And then your trees can get... Glued in, that goes, the bottom part goes over the red, and then right into that opening. And it looks like maybe the green one went on next. These you can glue down, and then your white one. And if you want this to cover it up, you could glue this right down on top of it. We do have a photo backer that kind of slides just a little bit behind here. So I would just put on the back side of this, just put maybe adhesive across the bottom and then the side here. So then you can slide your photo backers in once you get pictures on them. Okay, and then from there, it's just adding your photo backers and your photos to the page and chalk these up however you'd like but you have another Christmassy font that goes on your last piece of the large red um, music notes. That goes here. It goes about centered in the larger, centered in the middle of this piece, but about a half an inch from the top of your page. And then from your die cut, you have some you have one small red piece left, and you have a couple of photo backers from your die cut. Punch those out, and this piece is garbage, so you can throw that away, that extra piece. So with what is left, your little red piece goes onto the smaller floral, and that gets tucked right in here after you get a photo on it. And again, I would get your photos on and kind of place things before you actually adhere them down so that you're not covering up, you know, the best part of your other photo here. Because you can always, um, once you get photos into them, you can always adjust, move these around a little bit so that you have um, space for the photos that you want to show. And sometimes, like this one is on the page going horizontal. But if you have a photo that works better like this, there's also room for that. Just scoot it closer to the edge. Maybe move this one up and out a little bit. Um, totally up to you and the pictures that you have. But super simple, nice, elegant Christmas kit. And uh, I hope you like it for the December Club Q. And thanks for being a member. And if you're not a member, Check out our website, shopquickquotes.com. Go to Club Q and you can get monthly kits shipped to your door. Thanks for joining us this December and I hope you enjoyed the kit.